Austin in Texas is bracing for the South by Southwest Film Festival. It's part of an annual music and interactive technology extravaganza. It's blossomed into this very big film festival. I mean, you have 145 films playing there this year, which is the most ever, and that puts it on par with some of the bigger film festivals in the world. Now, already we're beginning to understand that an attitude has been taken to René Zellweger's physical appearance. Using it's clips from his YouTube web series The Truths, television interviews and much more, a documentary on British comedian and activist Russell Brand opens the festival. But it's Hollywood comedies that South by Southwest has become well known for in recent times. And this year too, it's following suit. I mean, you have Get Hard, the big studio comedy with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart, and you have Trainwreck, which is the latest from Judd Apatow, starring Amy Schumer and Saturday Night Live's Bill Hader. My boy got intimate. But the festival made its name on more modest, low-budget films. There's still a commitment to those pictures, like the haunted house movie We Are Still Here being screened this year. For its director, winning a slot at South by Southwest is viewed as a major achievement. For my directorial debut, to play at South By, it's a huge honor. I mean, they get arguably the most solicitations of any film festival in North America, so the fact that my film was chosen is, is a huge honor. A photographer is literally somebody drawing with light. And although it originally began as a regional festival, South by Southwest has grown to embrace filmmakers from across the North American continent and around the world. The venerated German director Wim Wenders, whose documentary on Brazilian photographer Sebastião Salgado is at South by Southwest this year, the festival definitely has appeal. I love this festival and I love Austin and I've been there with other films and I'm very happy that the film shows there. It's got a great spirit and Austin is an awesome town and it has, it's like a cultural microcosm in itself. The film screenings will all be taking place alongside an interactive festival. South by Southwest is where Twitter really took off. Given that there's also a big music festival underway, South by Southwest is viewed as a good place to launch a music film. Mavis, a portrait of R&B and gospel singer Mavis Staples, is one of the more anticipated music documentaries this year. Until Dr. King's dream has been realized! South by Southwest in Austin, specifically, you know, you have a music community there. Hallelujah. You truly have fans there, and for a film like this, you, what I really want is just for the pe people to see it and love it. But not everyone loves South by Southwest. Some film journalists who've been there think it's become too commercial. I felt like I was being force-fed commercialism everywhere, that they were sponsor after sponsor after sponsor. All they wanted to do was sell you things. The most commercial aspects of South by Southwest are said to be found in its interactive and music sections, not so much in the film festival itself. Above all else, the movie fans who will be coming here over the next few days, well, they're hoping to see engaging films, whether that be mainstream fare or smaller, perhaps more original works which use the magic of cinema to take them into different worlds. Fans are hoping that this Texas Film Festival will deliver.